Gender equality is not a woman issue. It's a human issue. And so I speak on Nigeria's ill-structured and gender-biased constitution reform. Isn't it time we change the narrative? I'm a little girl with a big dream. I've been told this often. As a woman, I have plunged headfirst into a world where opportunities are stacked against the female gender. I have fought and I continue to battle predetermined stereotypes. My dreams and my ambitions have led me into the dark jungle of Nigerian politics. And at heart, the little girl with big dreams brought with ethos that should never be a glass ceiling and that ambitions and aspirations, regardless of your tribe, your gender, or constitution, are okay, and it's okay to dream big. Indeed, I have big dreams. My late father, Chief Eo Akpede, a legal luminary in Nigeria, once told me, he said, without the law, it is like you have a blind society, and you have a body you don't have eyes to see. Today, I fondly remember my late brother, um, Daffy Akpede, SAN OFR, who recently passed away to glory. He definitely would approve of this topic I'm taking on today. A constitution reform with gender bias redress. Now, everybody wants to have 2020 vision, especially this year, of course, this is 2020, amid a global pandemic. So where are we here in Nigeria? Do we have 2020 vision? Are we near or far, far away from any reasonable, acceptable, equitable constitution? You all already know that answer, so I'll let you answer that. Our constitution reforms in 1999, everyone says it's a militarized version of reforms, and recently we had yet another amendment of our constitution, which was not only patriarchal because it did not address the devolution of powers, neither the issue of giving women quotas in representation in the highest echelons of power in our Nigerian government. This particular reform was also done without the input of the general public, be it in a referendum or a town hall meeting style, or even a written input from civil societies or interested pressure groups. The late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, and I quote, take your feet from off our necks. Famously known as the notorious RBG, Justice Gainsborough won five out of her six Supreme Court cases. And um, the one that she did not win was actually legislated and was signed into law by Barack Obama in his, as his first act as the President of the United States of America. So she, in fact, she won six over six. Now the notorious RBG was all about equality for, for women, for, for men, for blacks, all sorts of equality was all she was about. And when she was appointed to the highest court, it also showed that. Now, she was, she was one of two women when she was appointed to the Supreme Court in the United States. And till her death, she was only one of nine um, in the highest court. And she was asked, so what will it be fair to have women? What do you think? And she said, until nine of the nine, we are not equal. And I say, wow. So which way in Nigeria? We need to develop our constitution to represent our population adequately, apart from the devolution of power issue. We need to address seriously the underrepresentation of women in our politics, in our government, in all top positions in Nigeria. I therefore advocate that the federal government of Nigeria, despite a huge 2014 expense of a constitutional conference where the white paper never saw the light of any day, or neither was it um, implemented, to be reworked to include quotas for women and for an urgent review of our same constitution with the view of signing into law quotas so that women would begin to achieve not just equality, but a true sense of belonging for equal work, for equal pay. And that this value and everything else will make urgent changes that we need in Nigeria today for our nation to thrive. So remember the saying, if you want something said, what do you do? Send a woman. But if you really want something done, please send a woman. Nigerians, you know the answer. Women are 50% of our population, occupying less than 1% of our top ranking position. I therefore rest my case.